Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally finding some time to sit down and talk to you guys about this bag right here. Um, this is the Kara Sport Studio 2 in a large size. Purchased it a couple of weeks ago and I've been carrying it around ever since. And I um, kind of just wanted to give you my general thoughts, rundown, why I purchased it, what's so amazing about it, and why this is probably the last backpack, travel bag, etc. that you might ever need. So I kind of given up carrying heavy shoulder bags a while ago because I felt like it was throwing my posture out of alignment. And I've been carrying a very sporty backpack, um, which I liked. It held all of my stuff. It was a bit bulky, a bit heavy. I noticed when I was traveling that it didn't quite fit under the airline seat in front of me and still leave room for my legs. So that was a bit bothersome. And also it just, it was a sport bag. It would have been fine for the gym. It was fine for travel, but um, just for my daily stuff going to and from the office, um, it really could ruin an outfit. So, so I started hunting around instead for a bag that could fit all of my stuff without getting too bulky or too heavy. Um, and I've noticed with purses, with bags in general, if the bag itself is already several pounds, just adding a bunch of stuff in it isn't gonna help that problem. So this bag in particular, first selling point for me, um, it's only two pounds, completely empty. The original studio bag, which, and I'll show you guys in other shots, has sort of satchel handles here in the front of the front pocket. Um, that one I think was maybe five pounds, so it's already a bit heavier, which is why I went for the Studio 2. Nothing wrong with the other bag, and if you think that you're going to use those satchel handles a lot um, as one of the possible conversions on the bag, then go for it. But for me, it was the weight that was the bigger selling point for the Studio 2. So let's go ahead and talk about those convertible uses for a second. So obviously I purchased mine as a backpack. I'll go ahead and turn this around here so you can see. Um, so you've got the, the two backpack straps here, which leather on the outside, a nice mesh padding on the inside, which has that very athletic feel to it, and the breathable mesh padding here on the back. Um, so if you are someone who's used to the athletic book bag like I was and you like that extra cushion, so many stylish backpacks just have like weak little straps, which when you put anything in it, it's gonna cut into your shoulder so it won't be very comfortable. And they're also not gonna hold up very well. But with the hardware here and the padding on the straps and the craftsmanship and quality of the material, I don't see this going anywhere for a very long time. So that's option one to carry it as a backpack. What you can also do is flip it onto its side and with a quick adjustment of straps, you can actually turn it into a shoulder bag, which I'll model for you here so you can see. Um, and then again, as mentioned, if you had the Studio 2 bag, the option would be to turn it flat like so, and you would have satchel handles here above the front zipper. Um, in addition to the weight, the other reason I didn't go for the straps on the Studio bag was I didn't want to constantly be undoing them and redoing them to get into this front zipper pocket here, which I will walk you through, but this is where I keep all of my like quick access stuff. Um, so again, good selling point there. The capacity on this bag is kind of insane. You can really pack it full and it will start to get a bit heavy, a bit bulky, um, but it all depends on how you organize it and which pockets you use for what. There are still pockets on this bag that I forget exist. So I'm gonna do a walkthrough for you here of kind of what I keep in this bag. I have seen in reviews on Kara Sports website people who use this bag as their office to gym bag, and they use the inside mesh pockets for tennis shoes, water bottles, etc. cetera, um, but you can use it for anything. I use this as my daily work bag, so I keep in there all of my computer attachments, my external hard drives, all of my cords and chargers, my laptop, which is, e which is a 13-inch MacBook Pro, um, but it can hold up to a 15.6-inch laptop if you have a larger size, so that's pretty cool. Um, I keep in here sort of my daily toiletries, hand sanitizer, hand lotion, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, all of my chapsticks, whatever lipstick I'm wearing that day, that all goes in there. My notebook that I carry around all the time, whatever book that I'm reading, a water bottle. So it really holds everything that I'm going to need to finish my whole day out. Um, I've managed to squeeze in my uh, camera, my camera equipment, um, what else have I ever put in here? An extra pair of shoes, but of course, if you're gonna do shoes, that's probably the bulkiest thing that you can put in there on top of computer and or camera equipment. So for me, it's definitely kind of a one or the other 
thing. It's either gonna be a work to gym bag, even though I don't really work out at gyms, I work out in my basement, or it's just sort of a daily catch-all carry-all. Construction of the bag, I already kind of talked about the straps a little bit. Um, very high quality materials here. The, uh, my other selling point on this, as opposed to a completely leather backpack, which arguably may hold up better over time as long as you condition and treat it well. This has this gorgeous, sort of almost, not shiny, but um, satin finish canvas material, which um, water resistant and cleans very easily. In fairness, I don't know if it's supposed to be water resistant, but I've carried this bag through the rain and I've been able to just very easily wipe droplets off of it. So maybe it came pre-treated. I'm not sure I can check that out on the website. Um, but I just thought it would be easier in the long term to clean than a fully leather backpack. Um, something else as I'm talking to you, and honestly, no matter what I've put in this bag, it stands up on the bottom. Um, it doesn't have any feet or anything on the bottom. You can see there, it's just smooth. But because of the way it's constructed, anytime I sit it down, it stands upright. Even when I start opening zippers and pulling things out of it, it stands upright. Um, and as for the opening of the zippers, and I'll show you an aerial shot so you have a better view of this, um, the way it sort of accordions open is conducive to staying upright while I'm pawing through it. Um, that was a big selling point for me, particularly in airports. And when I'm on the go, I don't want, I don't like that my bags are constantly falling over when I need to be getting things out of them. I like to be able to open it, let it stand there at my feet until I'm done and then close it back up. So obviously I've chosen mine, the black with the gold hardware. It also comes black with a gun metal hardware. And just to show you a couple of features, it has a security kind of latch here on the top zipper. Um, it's not a lock, it's just a twist and turn there. So when you are running through busy airports, city trains, city streets, etc., no one's gonna be able to just grab the zipper and tug it open as long as you have that clasped. Um, another feature, which I don't use, but it's kind of a stylish thing and depending on what you're using the bag for, it could be handy. It has an easily detachable security key ring here. So you can keep a key in there for maybe a gym locker or an apartment key and snap it closed so it's not immediately visible and hang that on the outside of your bag so you can just grab that as soon as you need it instead of having to paw through the bag for your keys. I think that covers all of the key features and what I found most exciting about the bag. Um, it does retail at just shy of $400 US and I balked at that for longer than I should have the moment it arrived, I knew that it was worth every penny and it has proven to be that way. Um, I think between cost per use and the longevity of this bag, you could go through $400 backpacks in the lifetime of one $400 backpack, if that makes sense. So this has been an amazing purchase. The only, if it's even a complaint, and it's really not because it wouldn't be something I particularly would use often enough to make me stop buying this bag but on the back here if you look this is just the mesh and i've seen this complaint in a couple of the reviews on the website too um, a lot of people have asked on the next version of the model to put one of those sleeves that allows you to slide it onto the handle of rolling luggage that is the one feature that this bag doesn't have so if that's extremely important to you for whatever reason for whatever your lifestyle is this one's probably not the bag for you um, but that is the only Thing missing in this bag. The amount of pockets, the construction, the way that it's so thoughtfully put together for you to stash things in various places depending on what suits you. Um, really very impressive and um, I think that's all I have to say about the bag. So you will have seen throughout this video examples of what I keep in here and what can be stored in here. So get to thinking. Um, I will post a link to the bags on the website down below so you can check its measurements, etc. cetera. Um, I was actually pleased that this bag even holds more than my old athletic backpack, but it came in at smaller measurements. So um, it's even just a bit more refined looking to carry it around, but still holds just as much stuff. And I don't know if it's because of the way the shoulder pads are anchored in the center or again, just the weight distribution given the construction of the bag or what it is, but this bag never feels as heavy to me as my old bag did. So um, those were just things that were important to me when I was shopping for a nice backpack. So I've been waiting to tell you guys about this. I wanted to make sure I didn't change my mind about it. I haven't, if anything, I'm more sold on it as time goes by. So I definitely recommend Kara Sport. They have a whole line of travel and gym and um, 
not storage bags, but things like that, like makeup bags, toiletry bags, that sort of thing. Definitely go and check them out. Um, I will link them down below. And I think that's all I have to say about this. So it is travel season, you guys. So if you have bags that you know you're gonna have to use that you're not really loving, maybe go and check these guys out. Um, this is not a sponsored video at all. I found these guys by myself after weeks of scouring the internet um, and just wanted to let you guys know because if I have those complaints about my travel bags and my daily backpacks, maybe you do too. So um, I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope that you're subscribed. Um, if not, go ahead and click on it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.